Hello, hello. I would like to introduce you to a brand new project which we're planning to start on Monday. Uh, I have visited this house a couple of times earlier to take the measurement of obviously quote, talk about the best scenario, what we should do, and I need to show you around so you will understand. So the property is about one, two, three, five bedrooms, I think, if I remember correctly was flooded by stupid uh, connection to the tank in the loft wasn't tight properly and at the end flooded the whole entire house damaged every single wall as you can see every single floor so at this moment our plan is to remove all the plasterboard from the whole entire property but before I will go forward look before the damage this lady spent a couple of thousand to fit new kitchen and unfortunately it's not the best condition anymore so that's how the walls looks guys that's ground floor everything needs to be removed the carpet has been pulled at the early stage we have just managed to did a couple of holes in the wall to find out what the structure is and how the house been built. As you can see, there is no even piece of isolation. There is just one layer of plasterboard and second layer of plasterboard from the other side. <coughs> Every single room is damaged. No piece of isolation, etc. The plasterboard been done directly over the main wall without additional isolation this house is on the market for about 450 450,000 and it wasn't built great plus this whole damage which happened doesn't improve the property so our plan is to remove every single plasterboard replace the plasterboard Check all the electric, check all the plumbing. Like that's the main leak coming from. So this pipe boosts from the connection to the tank. Because the proper late most of the time and this lady was living with mum for the whole entire year. Only neighbors spot some water running through the windows and they've been wondering what's going on so they ring her and when she arrives she finds this what you can see the co insurance company wasn't helpful so at the end of the story they disagree to cover the damage I don't know how this physically happened because she had the policy I, I don't know what was the reason, but I know she didn't get any of the compensation. See, please be careful guys. Make sure you know who is doing your plumbing, who is doing your electric, because everything may end up like this, especially on the property which is not occupied most of the time. So I'm sorry for this lady, I'm sorry for everything what we have found here, but Defense will rescue this property. So today we're going to Southampton to our uh, company, uh, friend, uh, our friend company who run uh, the Polish warehouse with Polish building suppliers. Uh, we will get from him plasterboard which they moisture resistant the 2.6 length so they slightly higher than the standard plasterboard uh, they tape it we'll use uh, dry lining in the whole entire property we'll paint all the entire property we'll fix skirtings new covings etc etc and at the end we plan to lay the carpet from the ground floor to the top floor and on the ground floor we will just lay brand new laminate floor so that's our goal for the next two months. Uh, we're starting Monday, so 
we plan to be here eight weeks and I will give you some update in the middle of the process. So wish us luck. Have a great day. See you later. Bye now.